Did he? Let me lock in. Oh, I got one person watching. Okay. Shout out to that person watching. Hold on, yo. What's up? I'm starving. User 12. Yo, what's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? Just, just let me know if I'm too quiet or let me know. Let me know. I don't know. Yeah, let me know if I'm too quiet or, or what y'all got. But, uh, yeah. Talk about young boy. I don't know what is up with young boy right now. He's acting strange even for young boy standards like i don't know what's going on with the whole like uh what's his name like finesse two times he like randomly posted finesse two times his woman or something like i don't know that's weird oh what i just do why is my screen black uh no that was dumb what just happened oh there we go yeah, I don't know what that was about. That was really weird. I don't know what young boy has got going on, but at this point, young boy probably doesn't know what young boy has going on. Hey, I appreciate that user twelve. Um, I really do, man. I, I appreciate the love, bro. I just be trying to do my thing, bro. Just be trying to do my thing. You know, make these videos. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. One of the worst things, or one of the things I'm bad at right now. Is like replying to a bunch of comments. I don't know. Sometimes I just be like, I don't know. Some of y'all make me nervous sometimes. I don't know. Like not everybody, but sometimes y'all be do y'all do make me like a little concerned, bro. I don't know why. Cause some people say some strange things. Who I just didn't mean to do that. But yeah, some people say some really strange things sometimes. So sometimes I'm like, yeah. You think still don't trust you a full R and B album? Nah, I doubt it. I doubt it's full R&B. That would be interesting, though. Um, Future on a full R&B album probably is fire. So that would be really cool, but like I just doubt it. That doesn't sound right. But, I mean, hey, who knows? Maybe well, maybe we get another Kendrick disc subscribed on YouTube. Appreciate that, Joseph. I just dropped my water bottle. But um, since The weekend was on, and I expect there to be a decent amount of R&B, um, Future and The weekend on a song is always fire. What's my expectations? I really don't know. I don't have any at this point. Um, I obviously don't expect like the album to be bad, but like, I don't, I don't know. I don't think. I, I just don't expect the album to be bad. I expect some quality music. I don't expect it to be anything great, just because they just dropped a full length album. So I mean, the odds of it being like super super good, I feel like are kind of low, because that's that that would be thirty plus really really good songs, and you know, not that many people can do that, but. Um, has Metro gone full R and B? No, I don't think so. Um, thoughts on the Suns? Uh, they're very frustrating to watch. I hate their guts. I uh, hope they move to Vegas. Hope they move to Vegas. Uh, twenty twenty four best music year yet, or since twenty sixteen? Maybe. That's that's an interesting take. I'm not mad at it though. Um, did I graduate yet? I did. I did in fact graduate. Yeah, 2024 does seem to be a, a really good year for music at the moment. Definitely seems to be coming along pretty darn good. We got a lot of like really hyped upcoming releases. I find a job. Um, I'm still working my regular job up until now. Congrats, thank you. I'm still working my regular job until I feel like, whoa, are my chats overlapping? Wait, what is that? Wait, what the hell? 
Hey man, one of the. What the fuck? Well, who is this? I'm confused. I don't know. Yeah, I'm still working my regular job until now. I'm really just trying to go all in on content and to see how far I can kind of take it. But, you know, we'll see, I guess. Why is there still a chat? I'm so confused on what's happening. Somehow that person was able to get, like, double. Oh. Wait. Hold on. Let me see something real quick, y'all. Yeah, let me let me hide browser too. I think that may have been what it was. That's smart. Now's the best time before you start a family. Yeah, definitely. You're amazing. If nobody told you, Jay, you did your best, and that's all that matters. I appreciate that, man. I do. But yeah, we're just chilling, waiting. I don't know. Do y'all think Drake is gonna drop something? I really hope he does. I really hope he drops a bombshell and drops something tonight, um, and just kind of messes everything up. I really hope so. What's y'all bets on Drake's record on YouTube on a Drake? Oh, what's y'all bets on a Drake record on YouTube tonight? I don't know. I wouldn't like bet a whole bunch of money, but it's possible, bro. I really could see him doing something like that and just kind of disrupting everything. I think it would be very uh, fun. Sounds very disappointment. They almost lost. They didn't almost lose. They beat them by like 12, but they definitely didn't play as well as they should have. I feel like, I mean, yeah, the Suns are just, they're just really unpredictable. Not consistent. You have, you do believe Joe Budden when he says both sides have nuclear districts? Uh, I think it's possible, but I don't know if Joe would really have that insight on the Drake side of thing, considering like Drake and his camp doesn't seem to be very fond of Joe Budden. But, I mean, who knows? Maybe he has somebody that's a friend of somebody that's in the camp and, you know, something like that. I did not hear the new King Carson single, though, unfortunately. Did he, what's it called? But, yeah, I don't know. Joe having that information is a little sus, but I feel like he wouldn't just say that if he didn't know anything. Maybe it's not exactly what he said, but, like, I feel like Joe's not the type of guy to just jump out his body with information that he knows for sure is cat, you know? Maybe it does end up being cat, but, like, I don't think he would just do it if it was just, like, yeah, this is just completely made up, if you get what I'm saying. Like, I don't think Joe's that type of guy. But who knows? I could be wrong. Um, I, I obviously don't know where, who told him or where he got the information from, so it, it could be just completely made up, but you never know. Kendrick going to beat it? Maybe. Maybe. It's possible. I don't trust Joe. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to take his word for it and just run with it. Um, especially because, again, him and Drake don't get along very well. So, I don't know. I have a, predi I have a prediction. A couple rappers who I think are going to be become super popular and trending. Oh, you have a couple. Okay, who are they? Who do you think? Man, I was looking. I don't know. I don't really see anybody who jumps off the page to me right now that's let's just say not already a decent size star. I don't see anybody who I'm like, man, that person like got a lot of potential, you know? You'll be at 100K subs by the end of next year. I hope so, bro. I hope I'm 100K subs tomorrow, shit. Uh, most reasonable voice in hip hop space. Hey, I appreciate that, man. You know, not everyone agrees, but hey, I, I gotta do me. Nobody knew, but Lil Wayne, Future, and Thug gonna have a comeback. Future's are like, Future can't come back. He's at it like, He's at his peak commercial wise. Like this is the biggest future's probably ever been, outside of obviously the Drake collab. So I, I wouldn't really say he's gonna have a comeback. Thug, I mean, who knows what's gonna happen with his his case? So I can't really speak on that. But Wayne, I, I think Wayne, in terms of like being one of the marquee, like number one rappers that everyone's talking about, I think those days are gone. I'm not gonna lie. He's still gonna do numbers because he has a, a fan base forever. But I think in terms of him being like, oh, like, we're talking about Wayne the way we talk about, you know, Drake or the way we talk about even like a like a NBA young boy. I don't think we're really going to do that. He's just kind of forever solid in his um, his legend spot. I had to rip that tag off. Um, can I explain my name? <sighs> Actually, no, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait to explain my name at 50K on YouTube. I've already explained it a bunch of times. So if somebody knows if somebody's been following me for a while, they'll know. But at 50K on YouTube, I'll explain it. It's not that great of a story. 
It's just, uh, you know, a little something interesting, I guess. You think a, a surprise Drake track dropping tonight? I hope so, bro. Dog, please? Nah, man. I'm gonna wait till 50k, so just so I can build up a little hype and be like, oh. But it's really not that impressive. It's not anything crazy, bro. I promise. I promise, don't hold your breath. Wait, when the album come out? Which album are you talking about? Uh, Drake on Metro Beats absolutely slapped. That hurt. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that does suck. Oh, Metro's album is coming out in about 10 minutes. Favorite European rapper? Um, I guess, uh, Lancey Foe, because he's, you know, he's good. New Summer's EP? Ah, oh, man, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I stopped being a Summer's fan. Not because of, like, I don't know. His music just hasn't been hitting the same for me recently. Are you doing a live reaction to the album on YouTube? No, actually, when the when I start listening to the album, I'm gonna be on Twitch, um, since I can't listen to the music on YouTube, obviously, and I feel like it would be weird for me to try to sit here and react, and y'all just sit here and like listen to the music on your own. Like I don't know, that's kind of weird. So I'm gonna be on Twitch for that. So make sure you go, uh, go over to the Twitch once I start listening to the music. The Twitch is I used to be pay. Everything for me is I used to be pay. If I used to be pay isn't a username on a social media site, I don't have that social media. Summers and Can Can need to get their ish together. Yeah, they're just, I don't know, man. UFC 300 predictions, which fights? There's too many. There's too many for me to just, like, rattle them off. Which fights do you want to hear? Uh, what's my Twitch? I used to be pay. What do I think of OJ? OJ probably did it, I'm not going to lie. But, hey, he was found not guilty, so. Uh, yeah, he probably did do it, though. Aljo versus Cater. See, that's a tough one because as much as I want to pick Aljo, I could see Cater just like popping a jab out there and just keeping him at distance and then just slowly kind of breaking him down. But I still am going to say Aljo can eventually get him down and maybe ride out a decision. Like he gets his back at the end of round two and then round three, he kind of, you know, they're going back and forth and then he gets a takedown at the very end of the round. So I'm going to still go Aljo, but I could definitely see Cater. Just kind of like boxing and moving because he has some pretty solid footwork and just kind of moving out of the way of all of pretty much Aljo's takedowns to where it's like he's not necessarily defending them like with like underhooks or anything like that, but he's just kind of moving around with his feet and Aljo's having a hard time tracking him down while also getting his face jabbed off. Um, From the Heart is such a good summer song. Yeah. Um, Have you ever heard of Skateland by Babyface Ray? No, I don't think I've heard that song. You ever met a black supremacist? Uh, um, yeah. About the Cardinals going into 2024. What about him? What about him? Hopefully we get Marvin Harrison Jr. And we can build to the future. Ho I hope Drake saved us. I hope so too, man. It would really be disappointing if Drake... I mean, obviously he still hasn't responded, but I would really hope him to. Any chance you make a sports channel? Probably not. I might end up making a... Once I get like 30... 30k maybe i might make a personal um i might make a personal account where i'd like do more like random stuff and talk about sports and other shit arizona would be my dream spot if it wasn't so hot in the summer yeah arizona is crazy in the summer uh what's your undisputed top three like a rap ever I, I don't know my top three of rap ever um kanye is my number one ever um i guess right now it would be like cardi um honestly right now probably future uh, who else am I listening to right now? I'm listening to a decent amount of Doja Cat, but I don't know if she's in my top three right now. Like, who just dropped? I said Cardi, I said Future. Yeah, those are just my two right now. Like, everyone else is kind of on, like, cool mode. Like, I listen to Drake all the time, because it's Drake, so I guess Drake, but, like, I don't know. I look like Romeo Langford. Hood by Air, the best Cardi drop? That's a valid opinion. Surprise Future predictions on We Don't Trust You? Um... Nav, <laughs> Nav, uh, you fuck with Summers? Uh, not really, I used to a lot, but like, he's cool. Cardi B, no, no, not Cardi B, Playboy Cardi, sorry. I hope Cardi ain't on this one, I'm tired of the features, we need music. Yeah, he needs to drop an album, bro, I don't know what his deal is, why he just refuses, but hey man, change the category of the live chatting. Oh, my shit's on Fortnite, what the hell? I didn't even realize. Um, yeah, let me change that, wow. Yeah, that was crazy. Fortnite is crazy, um. I didn't even realize it was still on that. I haven't played Fortnite and I don't know how long. So for it, that to be my, my category is nuts. 
Drake only responded in subliminals and IG captions. Also, hey dude, hey man, what's up? Uh, oh, Nav is a good pick. I think J. Cole back down, so if Kendrick attacks, he can play the whole nice guard. It's manipul this guy, nice guy card is manipulation. He benefited from the diss since it went viral and promoted the album. K. Dot should respond. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I would say it was like a manipulation tactic. I just think Cole never really wanted to do it in the first place, and he kind of felt forced to. Who's dropping tonight? We got um, we got Metro and um. What's him to call it? What was it about to look up Drake? Oh, obviously his name's not Drake on the stream. Uh, Metro in the future. That's the one I'm really looking forward to. Um, Drake said text him on IG. Okay, we got this. I don't know what this is about. Don't care about Huncho. Uh, uh, this is some random lady. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Excited for Malone feature on TS. Like, are you saying like this shit or like, is that a different, uh, I don't know. Cole doesn't need gimmicks. His projects always do well. Yeah, they do. Um, hi, Twin. Hello. Thoughts, thoughts on Ian. Don't know if you've heard. Yeah, I know who Ian is. Um, I like Laser Dim. Laser Dim's kind of funny. Um, but Ian's cool. He, you know, he's all right. Cole kind of washed. I haven't liked anything since Furry Eyes Only. I mean, I would disagree, but it's not a horrible take. This rap beef, some BS, Drake Soft is, uh, used to be your actor. Hey, I don't know. I look like Lil Mabu. That's disrespectful. Uh, that's very disrespectful. Nah, I like Laser Dim, though. He's funny. I, I like his, uh, do we need a deluxe to the Metro Future? No, nah, it's not a deluxe. It's a whole nother album, actually. According to them. Do I think Drake's ever gonna fall off? No. Oh, do I think numbers determine greatness? Not necessarily, no. I wouldn't say just because you have numbers, you're great. Because, like, that would mean that, like, Pitbull and Flo Rida are some of the greatest rappers of all time, and they're just not. But um, I think it plays a part. Like, if we're talking about greatest of all time and not just best, then I think numbers do have to play a, a part. Because I feel like greatness isn't just, oh, you were always the best, you know. Metro been more vocal recently? He has. But, you know, he was hacked. Do I think Drake's ever going to fall off? No. Lil Mabu's so corny. Without the marketing, I just I just can't stand the guy. I just don't like him. Do you think Laser Dim is a meme rapper? Yeah, kind of. But that's okay. Yeah, he is. Back to back albums has barely been a month. Yeah, it has. But yeah, he's dropping he's dropping another album. Pitbull is definitely not one of the greatest rappers of all time. Um, definitely not. But numbers aside, who do you think is the greatest? I still say Kanye, even without like numbers aside. But heroes and villains, or we don't trust you, hero. Heroes and villains, definitely. I like we don't trust you, but I think heroes and villains is just a step ahead. Uh, maybe even two. Play that new kid ink is is nuts. Actually, y'all, real quick, don't leave. Do not move. Okay, don't move. I'm gonna go grab a water real quick. This one's low. I'm gonna grab a water. Don't move. You too. Don't move. I'll be back. If you moved, your mom doesn't love you. Sorry. I hate to be the one to tell you. All right. If Destroy Lonely and King Carson dropped and Cardi's not dropping for sure, do it. If he drops in December, bro, he's a sick individual. Lil Wayne's the greatest rapper of all time. That's that's valid. Uh, thoughts on reps? I, I don't know. I'm not much of a, a fashion guy, so I don't really have that big of an opinion. I mean, I just don't really care. As long as it doesn't look crazy, like as long as you're like... Michael Jordan doesn't have like a butt crack or something like I'm not I can't I can't tell the difference so I don't care do you plan to contribute something impactful to rap and hip-hop media I love your commentary it's very honest and non-toxic um I have no idea I'm just kind of doing my thing maybe um 
Maybe I guess like I don't know, trying to help like smaller artists. I don't know. I have no clue. Ask me in like three years when I'm a little bit more mature. Um, <laughs> Lonely and Kin is beefing with Yeet. What's your thoughts? Really? I haven't heard anything like that. After Kanye or Drake? After Kanye, Drake or Kendrick? Oh, man. I see. I want to say Drake, but at the same time, his his discography is just not consistent enough. Like Kendrick's discography is just like. It's so consistent in comparison to Drake, where he just has a lot of, like, not a lot, but he has albums that are just, like, dull, if you know what I mean, you know? Academics influence kind of crazy, bro. Pumps out eight to nine videos a day. Oh, I've never heard of it. Yeah, no. Bro, like, peak academics, though, like, when he was still making, like, YouTube videos, not when he was, like, now he just, like, um, clips his Twitch or whatever, his he clips his streams. But peak academics, when he was, um, Posting videos, bro. Insane. Insane. He would post, like, a video, like, 20 minutes after something happened. Get, like, 70, 80K views in, like, two two hours. It was crazy. All right. Let's see. Yeah, glow. Stump on these bitches. And these Chanel shoes. Yeah, glow. Boom. Yeah, glow. What albums do you think are classics of the SoundCloud era? Um, that's a good question, actually. I'd have to look into that. That's a good question. I would say self-titled by Cardi. Um, what's that Lil Pump album name? I think that's a self-titled too. Yeah, there's a couple. I didn't even know this much music dropped tonight. Dropped on Apple Music. All right, let's see. Metro Boom. But we're going to check Drake. Actually, is this the... Okay, this is the explicit version. Hold on. I'm going to check Jake, Drake's profile just in case. Just in case anything is there, we gotta make sure. You know, it's 9:02. We gotta give it some time. Maybe something pops up. I don't know. What's the direction you want to take with social media in terms of elevating? Um, I eventually want to get to a point where I'm like doing interviews and stuff and like making a, a kind of a platform. I don't know if I want to make like my own company, like a like a no jumper or something like that. But I definitely want to do interviews and talk to people. Not even just rappers, but like other content creators or other people in the music industry like i did with my first interview where i interviewed an a and r like that's you know i, I kind of want to do stuff like that obviously i still want to have my takes but i guess my 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 goal right now is to have like a one day one one show per day type thing like i get on stream we talk about everything for like maybe an hour hour and a half i do that and i just do that like maybe every day you know, something like that. Not like, kind of like a radio show, but not really, because I'd be on like streaming services. Would you stick to music or do content outside of it? I might do content outside of it too. I have plans on making a second channel where I talk a little bit more personally about like stuff. Not like telling you guys my feelings and what happened and not that type of shit, but like just telling like funny stories from like when I was younger or maybe like doing like a day in the life. Cause like I do, you know, Muay Thai uh, in my free time. So like maybe record some of that, like that's fun fun stuff record some sparring um i was thinking of joining like a men's basketball league in like a year or something that might be fun to do like you know just little stuff like that nothing too crazy but i don't want to do that i don't want to start doing that right now because i don't have a big enough platform on uh youtube to like really move over all right y'all guys on youtube if you want to listen to this album with me i'm gonna give you guys like a couple minutes to get over to twitch um you ever got knocked out no i've never been knocked out um i've been like buzzed a little bit like you know had my bell rung um but i've never been like knocked unconscious uh i've had a nose broken my nose was broken like a while back i don't remember when it was it wasn't a full year ago yet but it was like a while back would i like to interview so fago i mean i guess i just don't think i'd be able to get that interview right now my nice said ball i was pretty decent where's the drake disc i don't know but yeah you guys on you guys on youtube make sure you're getting over to twitch because by let's just say by 9 10 i'm gonna be only on twitch and if you're not on twitch then i'm turning off youtube because i have to listen to music and obviously i can't listen to music on youtube because i don't want to get banned so everybody go to the twitch it's i used to be pay same uh username as it is on here i'll type the link in the chat actually hopefully i don't misspell it because that's kind of embarrassing uh What was your reaction when your channel started doing well? When did things just start to go up? Um, I don't know. I didn't really have a reaction. I don't have like a big reaction yet because 
I have like a big page on TikTok already, so like uh, that sounds cocky, but I'm just being honest. Like I've seen, you know, obviously YouTube is way harder to get numbers on than TikTok for anybody who's a content creator. YouTube's way harder, like not even close. But like I wasn't like super su super like shell shocked because I knew some people would automatically bleed over from my TikTok. But like some of you guys don't even know me from TikTok. Like you only know my YouTube stuff, which is really crazy. But yeah, make sure y'all make sure you guys are getting over to the Twitch because. I'm getting off YouTube at 10, 9, 10, not 10 o'clock at night, 9, 10, and I'm just going to be listening uh, to the album and maybe some other stuff if I can find it. I'm going to keep checking Drake's page. Advice on starting something like this for artists outside of America, like listening, I don't know, you just got to do it. I feel like you can tap in a little bit more to a fan base if you're outside of America just because it's smaller. Um... Like, like not like if you're in like the UK, there's a smaller base for like um, rap fans. Where's the link? I just put it in the chat. Um, I just put the link in the chat, but it's just I used to be pay on um, Twitch. It's the same username as here on Twitch. Yeah. Fago not doing numbers no more. I mean, hey, it's a roller coaster game. Am I tapped in with UK music? Not too much. I know Lancey Foe. Um, I listen to a baby amount of, of Central C, but that's about it. I'm not really that big into UK music. I mean, like, obviously I know who, like, Dave is and stuff and, like, Skepta, but, like, I don't really listen to them like that. Like, you know. Can I explain my name? I'm gonna make a video explaining it when I hit 50k. It's really not that miraculous of a story. Just the curiosity just makes it more interesting than what the story really is. Um, is it hard coming up with content? Sometimes. Can you please send a link to sub... Your channel it ain't working through your profile a dog uh, <laughs> see this is the this is the part where I fail as a um, content creator because I don't know how to do that I'm gonna be honest oh I didn't even know you could play ads like that I didn't see hold on yeah I'm not gonna lie gang I don't know how to do that bro so um, yeah I guess I'm just shit out of luck on a subscribe on a on a, on a what's you call it you heard anything from South Africa outside of Thailand? No. Still no response from Drake? No, not yet. Micah, it's the name of... Do you love me? Are you writing? What? You heard anything from South Africa outside of Thailand? What? Still no response from Drake? No, not yet. Is the money from YouTube good? I run a clips page on TikTok and made a ban first month. Damn, that's really good on TikTok. Um, money on YouTube's better than TikTok, like per thousand views, but also at the same time, the content's harder to create. So, and it's harder, the discoverability is way lower on YouTube than it is TikTok. Because obviously, on TikTok, not even on purpose, you probably see, like, a hundred videos in, like, a couple, like, two hours. If you're just on TikTok, you probably see more than a hundred videos in, like, two hours. Not even, like, trying to do it on purpose. So, the discoverability is worse, and it's harder, but the monetary gains from YouTube are way bigger than, than uh, TikTok. Like, if you have a million view video on TikTok, you might make, you might make a thousand dollars. Like, you might make a thousand dollars on YouTube. I mean, on TikTok. Do I know Ian? Yeah. All right, y'all. Make sure y'all getting over to the Twitch, bro. Make sure y'all getting over to the Twitch, cause I'm about to turn it off. Thoughts on Hello Yasin? I might like him. He's cool. Sometimes I feel like he watches my content, though. I don't know. Maybe I'm like going insane, but sometimes I really do feel like. He watches my content because he'll say certain stuff that's set like he'll respond to certain takes that are like my takes i don't know if ever everyone else is saying it but like i don't know i feel like he he's seen some of my stuff maybe i just made that up but like like there was just one point in particular on his video where he talked about coila ray and he was saying like people are comparing her to taiga and i have not heard anyone compare coila ray to taiga besides me so i, I ain't gonna lie i feel like i feel like he's seen some of my stuff but maybe i just made that up we relocated from Kick to Twitch. Yeah, it's just easier for people to get over there, honestly. More people are, are familiar with Twitch and have a Twitch account, so they, they're more likely to go there. All right, y'all. YouTube. If you're on YouTube right now, I'm going to give you like 35 more seconds to get over to Twitch because I'm turning YouTube off. Um, It would probably be basketball or something. I don't, I don't know. I'm turning YouTube off. So YouTube, guys, make sure you're getting to Twitch so we can listen to the album together. If not... He definitely saw your video. No one else said exactly like nobody else is comparing Coil Ray to Tiger. I feel like he saw my video. Um, but yeah, y'all get over there, bro. 
Well, if you don't want to get to Twitch, then have a good night, bro. I appreciate you for joining me on YouTube, like, for real. You're a real one. I love you for that, but I got to do what I got to do. Send a link. I will type it in again. Oh, wait. that's I can't send that link. That's my link. I'll type it in again. Twitch.tv slash I used to be paid. Yeah, and make sure y'all get over there because I can't listen to music on YouTube. So if you want to listen to the app with me, go over there. Let's go. Let's go. Damn, why you got... Bro, got the mark of the beast in this shit. My big brother like Marshawn Lynch, he'll run through somebody. All right, y'all, YouTube, I really do appreciate y'all, but I'm getting over to Twitch. If you're not on Twitch, I'm sorry, brother, but I can't listen to music on here, so y'all know what that's like. Uh, I got to log in. Oh, hold on. Before I turn that off. All right. Um, yeah. Bye, y'all. YouTube, I love y'all, boys. Make sure y'all get over to Twitch. Get over to Twitch now. Now.